Hello friends, I'm your host SRK and you're watching Science for Juniors. And here is my assistant Binny. Hello friends. Hi professor. How was school today Binny? Any news? School was good. I wore this pretty pendant to school. See? It matches with my dress. <laughs> I asked school updates, not your personal updates, Binny. Oh, school. You know, my friend Rahul, the guy who sits next to me in class, teacher asked him not to come to school. Why? What happened? He's not well. Because of his frequent illness, teacher asked him not to come to school so that the infection doesn't spread. Oh. Sad. I hope you're feeling all right, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a brave girl who drinks milk. Good. My mom also says the same. Every day she forces me to have one glass of milk. Yes, Binny. It's a very good habit. Come, let's enter the world of science and you will know why milk is so important. Milk is called a complete food. Every mother wants her child to start the day with a glass of milk. Do you know why milk is considered a wholesome food? Because milk contains all the vital nutrients that our body needs for proper growth and development. Let's find out what nutrients are and why these are important to us in this module where we study about meaning of nutrition, nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, deficiency diseases. The process of consuming food is called nutrition. Nutrition involves taking in of food breaking it down to release energy and finally utilizing the energy for growth and other activities. The wonders and mysteries of science are everywhere around us. Yes, and I'm really enjoying to discover these wonders. I'm glad that you are able to appreciate the wonders of science. Oh, do you drink a glass of milk every day, Professor? Yes, yes. Then I don't think a glass of milk makes any difference, Professor. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> but seriously, Professor, I was wondering, ice cream is also made from milk. Will it be okay if I eat an ice cream every day? <clears throat> Not really, Binny. I think you need some more information on what does a body require to grow normally. Okay. Let's hit the virtual world again and I'll be noting on important things I need to eat in order to grow properly. All the food items that we eat contain certain elements that are required for the normal functioning of our body. These elements are called nutrients. Nutrients can be in the form of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for our body. Carbohydrates are of three types, sugar, starch and fibers. Sugar is present in fruits and is sweet in taste and easily soluble in water. Starch is present in food items such as rice, wheat, bread and is insoluble in water. Fibers are derived from plants like whole grains and vegetables. It is not digested by our body but helps in the smooth passage of food through the digestive tract. Just like the carbohydrates, fats also contain energy but their energy content is twice as compared to that of carbohydrates. Ghee, butter, milk, eggs, meat are good source of fats. Proteins are made up of amino acids and they provide the building material for growth and repair of body parts. Professor, 
This was truly a very important session. I know, Bini. In fact, you kids should get proper nutrition and develop your resistance power also. Huh? What is that, Professor? Resistance is actually the power of our body to fight against infection. If your body is healthy, you have less chances of being infected. You mean Rahul is not well because his resistance power is weak? Possible, Bini. In fact, lack of any nutrient may also lead to deficiency diseases. Let's enter the virtual world again and I'll impart some more knowledge in this growing brain. Vitamins are found in our food in very small quantities but very essential for the normal functioning of the body. Vitamins are classified as fat and water soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, D, E and K are fat soluble and vitamin B and C are water soluble. Let's discuss important vitamins, its sources, function and deficiency diseases. Vitamin A keeps our eyes and skin healthy. Deficiency leads to night blindness. Vitamin B complex affects growth and blood formation and also keeps nerves and skin healthy. Its deficiency leads to beriberi, pellagra and fatal anemia. Lack of citrus fruits cause scurvy. Vitamin D keeps our teeth and bones healthy. Its deficiency causes rickets. Leafy vegetables, milk and fish are a rich source of vitamin E that keeps our reproductive organs healthy and slows down aging. Vitamin K is needed for the normal clotting of blood. Its deficiency will delay clotting of blood. Minerals are also needed by our body in many quantities for normal functioning of the body. Iron helps in hemoglobin formation. Its deficiency leads to anemia. Calcium and phosphorus is required for making bones and teeth strong and for muscle contraction. Lack of iodine in our food causes goitre. Sodium and potassium helps in muscle contraction and maintains fluid balance and nerve impulse. Fluorine helps in tooth enamel formation. Deficiency of fluorine causes tooth decay. A diet that contains all the vital nutrients in correct proportions is called a balanced diet. All these deficiency diseases seem so scary. I'll have a balanced diet from today and I'll never say no to milk also. Mmm, good girl. <laughs> Professor, I'm craving for more knowledge. Okay then, let me share more in our Do You Know section. Do you know, Benny, that sunlight gives vitamin D and is very important also? People can suffer from something as serious as depression also because of lack of sunlight. What are you saying? Yes, Benny. Seasonal Affective Disorder, SAD, a mood disorder caused by the lack of light in winter, is a specific type of major depression. Vitamin D is also critical for proper formation of the skeletal structure. Oh, now no running away from sun. Yes, sunlight provides energy for photosynthesis which helps plants. Humans use around 2000 different plant types to obtain food. 2000? Do we eat this much? An adult human stomach can hold about 1.5 liters of material. But as people grow old, they produce half the digestive enzymes which are produced when they were young. Now, for those of you who tend to forget, this is an important part. Recap. And those of you who do not forget, a little brushing up won't hurt, right? So let's see what we have learned today. In this module, we have learned the following. Nutrients are substances present in our food that help us to grow. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals are the major nutrients. Lack of vitamins and minerals in our food can cause diseases called deficiency diseases. 
A balanced diet contains all the nutrients in the correct proportions. Professor? Professor? Mm, professor? Oh, careful, Binny. You would have spoiled my experiment. Tell me, what is it? Oh, of course, our friends. I hope you enjoyed today's session, friends. It is time for us to go, but you keep exploring the world of science till we meet again. That will be soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.